All right, I just finished a Bikram yoga class, so I'm covered in sweat, and I gotta go home and shower. But I thought I'd just film this quickly. As a disclaimer, I am not a trained psychologist, psychiatrist, or any type of therapist. I'm just a guy who has some personal experience. I'm just a guy who likes to read up on psychology and look up methods of how to uh, reduce feeling down or depressed. Now everyone is different, so I can't speak on behalf of people who are severely depressed or people who can't uh, get themselves to uh, get themselves better. So I, I used to feel down myself. I used to uh, blame other people for my problems and never blame myself. So that's the reason why I felt down and I decided to uh, learn how to take responsibility for myself for anything that happened in the past. Because I had all that time to uh, realize that what happened in the past like 10 years ago shouldn't affect me now. I had 10 years to improve myself. But for this video, I'll just talk about uh, methods of how to feel a lot less depressed or not feel as down, assuming that you already have a successful life. Because there are people out there who look like they have successful lives. Like they can actually go to parties. They can socialize. They have high paying jobs. Run a great business. But they still feel depressed. Tip number one. I would say eat healthy. So eat a good amount of good quality fats. Eat moderate um, amounts of protein. And whether you do ketogenic or not, good vegetables or a reasonable amount of uh, good quality carbs. So I find that a lot of uh, cases of depression are caused by low fat diets. They're caused by missing a lot of uh, minerals or vitamins. So good quality fats would be good quality coconut oil, grass fed butter. Those are my two biggest fats I eat. And cut out the bad fats, like margarine. The um, cheap uh, cooking oil that most people use. And watch your carb intake. I find if you eat processed foods, like cookies, donuts, or too much of uh, even good carbs, you can feel more depressed because all that carbs it's going to spike up your insulin and then crash down and then you're going to feel like crap. I've had that experience where I ate three donuts the night before. The next day, other than some digestive issue, I felt like crap mentally. Not for the whole day. So step two. Get into a good exercise program. I like training heavy, and that's what I do. I think it's good for releasing stress. And I know I might have to change my program as I get a lot older. But I would say, try to do more exercises that you like to do. And make time to work out. If you have excuses not to work out, you're not gonna work out. If you make it a priority, despite how busy you are, you will work out. Tip number three, I would say is balance out your recovery and your workouts. Because one of the main symptoms of overtraining or overreaching is you're going to feel depressed or down. And you start slowing down. You may not feel like you want to work out or do anything. You feel too tired. And then you don't want to do anything. So everyone's different on recovery. Uh, depending on how much you sleep. Depending on your nutrition. Also depends on your genetics. How much you work out. So for some, for many people, working out an hour a day is enough. Because there's people that believe if you work out more than an hour a day or at a time, your um, testosterone is going to drop and your cortisol is going to shoot up. 
then you don't get the benefits of working out. And low testosterone can also make you feel depressed. Tip number four, although I, I said tip number one was to eat healthy, I'm going to suggest more on nutrition as well, and that is eat a diet that boosts your hormones in an optimal way. So eat a diet that produces growth hormone. Eat a diet that boosts your testosterone. Eat a diet that doesn't um, jack up your insulin all day. So diets like uh, eat your eggs. If you can tolerate raw eggs, go for it. And then our tip is optimize your sleep. Some days I don't sleep enough. Once in a while I can get away and I might still feel a little bit like crap, but I understand myself better and I know I'm responsible for my lack of sleep and how I feel. But I do know that being constantly sleep deprived on a regular basis eventually adds up and you can feel more depressed or feeling more irritated. And then it even takes a few good night sleeps to even feel good. Sleeping in on your weekend and then sleeping five hours every day on the weekday, it's not even that good. Catching up on sleep doesn't work like that to optimize your mental health. It might work for some people, but it doesn't work for me. And if you don't get a good amount of sleep on a regular basis and you have to end up taking naps, then go for it. Another tip I have is go outside, get some vitamin D when the sun's up, especially in the summer days. You don't have to do it for too long. Get a full body exposure if you can. Or mostly just go outside like you're going to the beach to maximize uh, skin exposure to the sun. A few minutes, 10 minutes, you get some vitamin D, you get the benefits of being outside, you won't feel down. I find that people who want to stay inside all day, they don't feel good mentally. I even heard the line how some smokers feel better than non-smokers because they have to go outside on a regular basis just to have a smoke. Well, I'm not suggesting to go smoke. I, I'd rather you don't smoke, but that's a lifestyle choice. And my last tip is cold showers. Cold showers, it doesn't feel good because I know most people are not going to do it, but you do it for some time, it doesn't feel comfortable, but then when you shut it off, you feel great. And there's a lot of health benefits of doing cold showers, uh, such as boosting your immune system, uh, speeding your metabolism, improving your hormonal profile, reducing stress. Sometimes I find myself, I just take a cold shower and my stress is gone. Another tip, take some yoga classes. Yoga teaches you stretches, breathing, awareness of your body. I met people who went to yoga and they told me just by practicing yoga itself, they didn't feel as angry about the exact same situation. And I don't think they changed their diet. So these are all the tips I personally have that I use to help me. And I think they can help uh, other people as well. Now this is the assumption that you don't change how you think about yourself, like outside of all these tips. Like if you're still blaming other people for your own problems, or if you're still working the same stressful job you have, or still in an unhappy relationship, or even in a happy relationship, but you still feel depressed. 